Somewhere in the vast Pacific Ocean, history was made when a U.S. Navy destroyer fired a beam of concentrated light and vaporized an aircraft in seconds. This was the Helios Laser Weapon System conducting its first successful live-fire test, proving that naval warfare has entered an entirely new era. The Helios, officially called the High Energy Laser with Integrated Optical Dazzler and Surveillance System, represents the most significant leap in naval combat technology since the invention of radar. Currently deployed only on the USS Preble, this compact system packs enough energy to power an entire neighborhood into a pinpoint beam of destruction. But why did the Navy desperately need this weapon? The answer lies in a costly problem that's been bleeding the military budget dry. Since November 2023, U.S. warships have conducted over 60 intercepts of hostile missiles and drones in the Middle East. Each time, they've been forced to fire million-dollar SM-2 missiles to destroy $5,000 Iranian Shahed drones. It's like using a sledgehammer to kill a mosquito. Effective, but financially devastating. This is where the Helios changes everything. Instead of expensive missiles that can only be used once, the laser fires as long as the ship has electrical power. Each shot costs mere dollars in electricity, not millions in ammunition. The system can engage dozens of targets in rapid succession without ever needing to reload. The placement of Helios on the USS Preble tells a fascinating story of naval engineering. The laser sits on the forward mount originally designed for a SeaWiz close-in weapon system. When the Navy designed the Arleigh Burke destroyers, they planned to install two SeaWiz systems, one forward, one aft. But budget cuts meant that 50% of the destroyer fleet only got the rear system, leaving the forward mount empty. This turned out to be a stroke of luck. The SeaWiz mount already had massive power connections because the gun system needs up to 70 kilowatts just for target tracking. This existing infrastructure was perfect for the power-hungry Helios, which operates at 60 kilowatts and can scale to 120 kilowatts in future upgrades. The system itself looks deceptively simple. At the bottom sits the main laser emitter, the business end of this revolutionary weapon. Above it, two circular sensors handle tracking and targeting. The smaller sensor scans wide areas for potential threats, while the larger one locks onto specific targets with pinpoint precision. But there's more to this system than just destruction. The word Dazzler in its official name refers to a non-lethal laser that can blind enemy sensors without destroying the target. Think of it as a military-grade laser pointer that can temporarily disable drone cameras or boat navigation systems from miles away. The surveillance component adds high-definition thermal and night vision cameras, giving crews unprecedented situational awareness. The real test came during a classified demonstration that would make naval history. The USS Preble was steaming through the Western Pacific, hunting for a target that resembled a small Cessna aircraft. The crew had no idea when or where the unmanned plane would appear, they just knew it was coming. Inside the ship's combat information center, tension filled the air. Watchstanders stared at their screens trying to distinguish between actual threats and false alarms. Every blip on the radar could be the target, or it could just be a cloud. The electronic warfare specialist called out signal reports, the tactical action officer verified target codes, and the entire crew worked as one machine to identify the incoming threat. Then, it happened. The spy radar locked onto a return at an undisclosed distance. Multiple sensors confirmed this was their target. The tactical action officer requested batteries release from the captain, who immediately granted permission and flipped the fire inhibit switch to green. The final safety measure was removed. What happened next lasted only seconds but changed naval warfare forever. A invisible beam of concentrated energy streamed through the night sky. Using the Helios cameras, the crew watched in crystal clear detail as their target began showing visible damage. The aircraft heeled to one side, then exploded into a brilliant ball of fire before crashing into the sea. 
Cheers erupted throughout the combat center. They had just become the first Navy crew in history to shoot down an aircraft using a laser weapon. But this was just the beginning of what Helios could do. The successful shootdown proved Helios could deliver hard kills, but subsequent tests revealed its true versatility. The system demonstrated its ability to disable electronic systems without destroying targets, turning million-dollar weapons into expensive paperweights by simply frying their sensors and navigation equipment. During rough sea trials, the crew faced their biggest challenge yet. High winds and choppy waters would normally make precision targeting nearly impossible, but Helios maintained perfect beam stability, compensating for the ship's movement in real time. The system tracked multiple moving targets simultaneously, adjusting its focus dynamically for targets at varying distances. The operational advantages became immediately clear. Traditional missile engagements require complex reload procedures, careful ammunition management, and expensive resupply operations. With Helios, the crew simply monitors power levels and engages target after target without interruption. One operator described it as playing a video game where you never run out of ammunition. The psychological impact on the crew was equally significant. Instead of the stress of managing limited missile inventory, operators could focus entirely on tactical decisions. The system's automated targeting recommendations reduced human error while its instant feedback confirmed successful engagements immediately. But, perhaps most importantly, Helios solved the swarm problem. Iranian fast attack craft and drone swarms had been designed specifically to overwhelm traditional defenses by forcing ships to exhaust their missile supplies. Against Helios, these tactics become useless. The laser can engage dozens of small targets in rapid succession without depleting any physical ammunition. The deployment of Helios represents more than just a new weapon. It's a complete transformation of naval strategy. For decades, the Navy has faced an impossible math problem. Cheap threats requiring expensive solutions. Iranian proxy forces have weaponized this imbalance, using swarms of expendable drones and boats to drain American missile stockpiles. Consider the economics of modern naval combat. A single SM-2 missile costs over $1 million. During recent Red Sea operations, U.S. destroyers fired hundreds of these missiles to stop waves of Shahed drones that cost Iran just $5,000 each. The financial mathematics were unsustainable. He had America was spending 200 times more on defense than Iran was spending on offense. Helios flips this equation completely. Each laser shot costs approximately $10 in electrical power. Against a swarm of 20 drones that would previously require $20 million in missiles, Helios can engage the entire threat for less than $200. The cost advantage is so overwhelming that it fundamentally changes the calculus of asymmetric warfare. The strategic implications extend far beyond cost savings. Ships equipped with Helios can remain on station indefinitely without waiting for ammunition resupply. This transforms deployment patterns, allowing the Navy to maintain persistent presence in contested waters. Commanders no longer need to ration their defensive capabilities or make impossible choices about which threats to engage. The technology also enables entirely new tactical approaches. Multiple simultaneous engagements become routine rather than exceptional. Non-lethal deterrence options expand diplomatic flexibility. Real-time surveillance integration provides unprecedented battlefield awareness. These capabilities combine to create what military strategists call a force multiplier, one system that dramatically enhances overall combat effectiveness. The current 60-kilowatt Helios is just the beginning. The Navy is actively developing 120-kilowatt systems capable of engaging ballistic missiles, levandashins, threats that currently require the most expensive interceptors in the American arsenal. Future destroyers will be designed from the ground up with massive electrical generation capacity to support multiple laser systems. 
defense contractors are already working on next-generation directed energy weapons that could revolutionize naval combat entirely. Imagine a destroyer equipped with multiple laser turrets, each capable of simultaneously engaging different threat categories. High energy beams for ballistic missiles, medium power systems for aircraft and cruise missiles, and precision dazzlers for non-lethal crowd control or sensor disruption. The implications reach beyond American naval strategy. Allied nations are closely watching Helios development, with several countries expressing interest in similar systems. China and Russia are undoubtedly accelerating their own directed energy programs in response. The laser arms race has officially begun, but perhaps most significantly, Helios proves that science fiction has become operational reality. The successful deployment demonstrates that directed energy weapons are not experimental curiosities, but practical, reliable combat systems ready for fleet-wide adoption. The Helios Laser Weapon System represents a pivotal moment in naval history, complex the point where energy-based warfare transitioned from concept to combat reality. As this technology proliferates across the fleet, it will fundamentally reshape maritime strategy, making American naval forces more lethal, more efficient, and more capable of maintaining global maritime security. The age of laser warfare has arrived, and the U.S. Navy is leading the charge into this revolutionary new era of naval combat.